actually at the doctor's office did not plan to come but this morning i was not feeling well and um i decided to check myself in to the doctors so hopefully everything is okay hi good morning yesterday i went to my doctors because i wasn't feeling right for my pregnancy and She's not coming out. She still has another week, actually. And um, I scheduled my C-section, so I'm kind of happy that in a week, one week, she'll be out. So we are both happy, my uh, husband and um, I, that we have a set date now because before we didn't have a set date. And she'll be coming in three weeks early in my son's feet. And so we're excited. Um... I'll keep you guys posted and see what's going on. So, bear with me, guys. It's almost there. It's just another update um, with the pregnancy. Um, literally, in a couple more days, I'll deliver this baby by C-section. And I'm so excited. Right now, I put my son to bed. And my daughter is playing and watching the tablet. Everything's good. And I'm just doing couch rest. And uh, trying to get as much rest as I can. But everything's going good. I do have some um, pain and um, a lot of movement from her. About it, <laughs> I'm mostly tired and I just want to take naps. Um, but <sighs> it's all right. Wait, I got my hospital bag in the car. It's all set and ready to go. Hello, guys literally like not that many days left and i'm my last doctor's appointment so let's see how everything goes today so i went to my last appointment and everything sounds good she's not coming out but um that means i have one more day tomorrow and then the next day early in the morning i will be not pregnant anymore i'm a little more happy because <laughs> don't get me wrong i love being pregnant but i'm so ready to get this done and meet her so i've been getting ready you might think it's weird um it's like i'm going on my first date i shaved i gotta do my eyebrows and um i'm gonna clean my face so i'm gonna use this new mask that i got online and I'm just going to put it on my forehead, nose, and um, chin because I have very oily skin. skin. So, yes, we're just getting the last minute things that we need to just stay in the house straight. And um, so we can go. Yes. So we're excited. Chloe's coming. She's so big. So let's hope everything goes good with my C-section. I'll see you soon. Are you excited for your sister? Your sister's coming. Look. Sister just delivered today. You want to say bye to your sister? She's going to come soon. Ow. You hurt. So we'll see you guys in the hospital. Oh, my God. <laughs> so you're excited, babe? Yes. Very excited. I'm nervous. Here we go. Oh my god. So we're out. Look at the baby. Say hi. Hi. Say hi. Well, she's sleeping right now. But... <laughs> she's like, she has big lips. I think you're all good. Hi. And just a little time for you guys and myself I'm recuperating they just finally left us alone and I'm so excited I have a baby girl and we're so happy right now my husband wants to go get some um, coffee and get me something to munch on it's a little too early but I'm starving they did my surgery at 12 in the afternoon so yeah but just let you guys know everything's well everything's good and Thanks. 
Hi guys, it's day two, well, day one, they say. Um, yesterday I had my C-section, and today I'm so tired, exhausted, but happy. I have my little baby girl here. Um, and it's been, honestly, a horrible day. Not because of her, she's been an angel, but I'm in pain. Oh my god, I forgot how excruciating this C-section is, and then... Um, because they give you so much uh, narcotics and anesthesia you're so like backed up with gas and your bowels are slow that uh, it's like ridiculous so I'm bloated a lot and I can't pass gas excuse me TMI but I haven't pooped I haven't farted I'm burping a lot and they just gave me some um, gas hacks Hopefully that works and hopefully this pressure and this pain goes away. I was crying earlier and I miss my husband. He went actually to check on the kids, but oh my God, it's really painful. Hi and good morning. It's literally five o'clock. I've been up since 3.30, feeding that little baby girl and giving my husband a rest. He's so tired. He does help me out a lot. And he was with the other, with my other two um, baby, my little babies, or other kids. And I really do thank them. I do need them more than I really uh, give them credit for. And I love them so much. I do miss my other kids. Um, every time I see them through video, or uh, when they come visit me, I cry. Um, but I know I need to recover first. And um, we'll see from there. Well, it's our last day. We're going home, packing up. Say hi. Hi. We got everything ready. We're just waiting to get discharged. I gotta go to the bathroom though. I got super stuff. I guess I'm getting cattle. I'm going home. Hey. Here. I miss you. I miss you, mommy. Here you go, mommy. Okay, thank you. You put it away. Hi, we're home. After four days in the hospital, we're home. She's here with me. And uh, my husband just went to pick up a couple of papers that we left at the hospital. But other than that, we're happy to be home. I'm sorry if I'm a little hoarse. Um, just the whole everything being at the hospital, um, staying there, medicine and everything, it just took a toll on my body. Plus the C-section and uh, walking and oh my God, I'm so exhausted. And, and the pain still I have, but everything went smoothly and I'm happy with everything and everyone in the hospital and we got home safe i'm safe the baby's safe all right guys um last night was my first night um home um i'm not gonna lie it was very hard it's gonna be hard anyways um you're you know cut and you know still a little bit sensitive and trying to get used to the back to the routine of the household it's a feeling a feeling useless is oh my god it's really bad. I don't know if it's just hormonal, but try to get everything and also trying to not hurt yourself. It's not nobody's fault. It's just how it is. But there's points in the day that I'm in so much pain that I feel like I'm gonna faint. It's just your whole body is in pain. It's 
immobile. Trust me. There's a certain time of day that my body just cannot take all the movement, all the activities, all the ups and downs, and I start to shake. I start to shake. I feel like I'm gonna vomit. I feel like I'm gonna faint. I, at points, I'm like, oh my God, like what is going on with my body? Oh my God. I just, I wanna get over that hump where you're too, at least not that much in, um, in pain. I know that I'm, I know that I'm expected to have pain, but I just wanna tell you guys, holy shit. I did not remember my pain being this bad, this strong, and this intense, honestly. I'm still a little bloated, but it's not as bad as literally when I gave birth. And I'm still in pain. Guys, it's very difficult. I <clears throat> Just a little update. I do feel a little hoarse still. Um, I'm still in a little pain, but I feel so much better than before. Um, I think once the pain starts to wear off and everything starts to just be okay, um, I feel so much better. <laughs> I still feel ups and downs, um, which is, I think, normal. I still can't do majority of the things, but at least I can walk more comfortably, stand up a little longer, um, help out my husband with doing dishes, um, you know, little things, but just take it, you know, one activity at a time or one um, task at a time. I do stay up overnight, the baby. Uh, I try to take naps in between if I can, um, but if not, I'm there. I'm not gonna lie, it's um, this C-section and um, this pregnancy or this recovery, this recovery has been a little bit different and a little bit more challenging. Um, not to to give control to my husband. Um, I, it's not that I don't have faith in him. I have all the faith in him and he's been doing a great job. But I feel like I, I'm not doing anything. I feel like I'm just sitting and doing nothing absolutely nothing which i shouldn't feel that way but i do feel like crying a lot <laughs> and my husband's like you know what just do it just let it out you know it'll just vent and i thank him so much for helping me and helping me on the house and the kids and he might not experience what I'm going through, but he should sure does see it, experience. I felt like my insides were ripping, stretching, um, just coming undone. I felt my stitches, like when the, just my cut opening, I, it was brutal, 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 brutal. Oh my God, the constipation and the bloating made it even worse i thought being pregnant was was the um the big oh my god it's so painful no um the recovery is the one that you need to really watch out for and really monitor yourself because you don't know what could happen and hopefully in the next week i can start um doing again my cooking videos with you guys and um showing you some more tips and you know giving you guys advice if anything please comment and i'll share whatever you guys want me to answer about my whole journey as my pregnancy and my c-section about that i'm here so i hope i see you guys soon and i'm almost there guys i promise i'll continue to make some more videos for you guys bye thank you so much